Let's take a look at how to move and other basic controls in Minecraft Education Edition. Right now, I have my left hand on my keyboard and my right hand on my mouse. And I can use these clues and hints on the left hand side of my screen to remind me how to do things like move and jump and fly. So I can see that W moves me forward, S moves me back, A moves me to the left, and D moves me to the right. I can also use my mouse at the same time as my eyes to move forward, but move from side to side with my eyes guiding me in the direction I want to go. If I push space, I jump. If I push the space bar twice, one, two, I actually start flying. And if I hold the space bar down, I can fly higher and higher and look at everything below me. If I push the space bar twice, I will fall back to the ground. E for inventory. If I push E on my keyboard, it opens up my entire inventory of items and blocks that I have available to me. I can click once, left hand click, and click again in my inventory to drop those blocks. So let's look into placing and breaking blocks. You can see that I have these nine slots on the bottom of my screen. If I hit number one on my keyboard, I will select the first slot number two selects the second slot, and so on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wanna be able to place some blocks, so I'm gonna click one, and that is my oak wood planks. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, there are mouse hints. So it's showing me that a right click is place, and you can see the black outline of the block. That is where I am aiming to place it with those crosshairs. So if I follow my clue, right click is place, I can place blocks and get started building my first Minecraft creation. Oops, I accidentally broke one there. So it says left click is mine. Mine is break. So I can break everything that I built, but I can also replace it using those hints. So that is how to get started with movement and basic controls in Minecraft Education Edition.